Now we're going to do problem four. Um, well, the problem four says a car weighing 3,500 pounds accelerates from rest to 70 miles per hour in eight seconds. What is its average horsepower? Okay, so uh, it's a kind of a good useful problem. We can calculate what its horsepower is. We're going to assume that there are no rolling friction or other kind of uh, friction, static, uh, kinetic friction. So um, we're going to want to calculate here how much work the car has done. We're going to have to do some unit conversions and stuff and eventually get our answer in and express our answer in horsepower. So first let's calculate the car's mass. The weight divided by G, 3,500 pounds divided by 32 feet per second squared. This will give us slugs like we did before. So the car's mass is 109.375 slugs, okay? The other thing that we want to do is convert mile per hour to feet per second. So 70 miles per hour, one mile is 5,280 feet. It's kind of a weird conversion, but that's the way it is. One mile is 5,280 feet, one hour, is 30,600 seconds. Hour cancels hour, mile cancels mile. Let's calculate what that's gonna give us. 70 times 5280 divided by 3600. So 102.6 repeating sixes, feet per second. Uh, so the velocity of the car or the speed of the car is 102.6 uh, repeating sixes feet per second. Uh, that's equivalent to 70 miles per hour. So now we can say, what is the work done by the car? The work done is equal to change in kinetic energy, which equals one half mass times final velocity squared. Where the initial velocity is zero since the car starts from rest. So one half, what's the mass? 109. 0.375 and then the velocity is 102.6 repeating 6 and then you square that right so what are we going to get now you square this multiply it by 0.5 multiply it by 109.375 you get a huge number this huge number what are the units of this huge number well when you do this, the units of uh, work in the British system, it's going to come out to be foot-pounds, right? Foot-pounds. So you're going to come up with what? Uh, work is uh, 57,000, or actually fi uh, 576,000, uh, 430, Point five repeating fives, 50, uh, 576,430, and this is foot pounds. Okay, now what's the average power during that time interval? Well, it's how much work you've done divided by the time that it took you to do that work, right? So power is defined as work divided by time. So you divide this by what? Well, it took eight seconds, right? Eight seconds, so what's that gonna be? Divide this by eight. 72,053, okay? 72,053.819 and repeating fours. What is the unit of that? Foot pound per second. So the average power of the car during that time interval is 72,053 foot-pound per second. Earlier I told you that 550 foot-pound per second is one horse. So now we're gonna use that 550 uh, conversion. 550 foot-pound per second is one horsepower.
and foot pound per second, foot pound per, per second will cancel. Divide by 550, you get 131.00. So pretty much 131. 131 horsepower. So the car is not really that strong, but of course we were assuming the car didn't have to overcome any frictional forces. In reality, the car's horsepower is even more than that. Uh, if the car had made this path in four seconds, right, zero to 70 in four seconds, that's actually pretty quick, then it would have been 262 horsepower, right? And now you're talking about a formidable horsepower. And if you account for friction, that the fact that the car has to overcome friction, then actually the car's horsepower might be in the 300s, 300 something, 300, whatever. If it's even less than four, you're talking about super fast cars, super powerful cars, you could get up in the 350s or 400 horsepowers, right? So that's basically how you calculate these things. Okay, thank you.